Today we are going to talk about Lyme disease. Borrelia are flagellated spirochetal bacteria which infects humans after bites from ticks or lice. They cause a variety of human infections worldwide. Lyme disease named after the town of Old Lyme in Connecticut in USA is caused by Borrelia burgdorferi, which occurs in USA, Europe, Russia, China, Japan and Australia. In Europe, two additional genus species are also encountered named as Borrelia afzeli and Borrelia garini. The reservoir of infection is exodes tick that feed on large mammals, particularly deer. Birds may spread ticks over a wide area. Organism is transmitted to humans via the bite of infected ticks. Larval, limb, nymphal and adult forms are all capable of spreading infection. Helicosis is a common co-infection with Lyme disease. Now what are the clinical features? There are three stages of the Lyme disease, stage 1 or early localized disease. Skin reactions around the site of the tick bite known as erythema migrans. It is the characteristic feature. Initially red bull eye macule or papule appears 2 to 30 days after the bite. Then enlarges peripherally with central clearing. It may persist for months. Lien is not pathognomic of Lyme disease. Other acute manifestations include fever, headache, regional lymphadenopathy may develop with or without rash. Second stage or early disseminated disease usually develops 3 to 10 weeks after inoculation. Hematologic or lymphatic spread disseminates parochetes to distant sites. Musculoskeletal and neurologic symptoms are the most common symptom in second stage. Erythema migraines, single or multiple, headache, fever, tender adenopathy may be regional or generalized. Conjunctivitis is uncommon symptom. Carditis usually manifests as heart block. Meningismus as a sign of aseptic meningitis may be present. Cranial nerve palsies may be there, especially unilateral or bilateral facial nerve palsy. Peripheral neuropathy and radiculopathy often painful. Last stage is the stage 3 or chronic Lyme disease. It refers to manifestations that occurs months to years after initial infection, sometimes after a period of latency. Late manifestations include arthritis, also known as Lyme arthritis in the is the hallmark of step 3 or stage 3 Lyme disease. Then are the polyneuritis, encephalopathy, Acrodermatitis chronica atrophicans. It is an uncommon late complication. Duffy patchy discoloration occurs on the peripheries, eventually leading to shiny atrophic skin. Lions are easily mistaken for those of peripheral vascular disease. Then comes the diagnosis of the Lyme disease. Early diagnosis is often clinical. In endemic areas, patients with probable erythema migraines and a recent source of tick exposure should be started on treatment without blood tests. Serologic tests include in step 1 enzyme immunoassays or immunofluorescence assays. Total Lyme titer or IgG or IgM titers may be. In step 2 western blood testing is performed. Western blood testing is performed only if step 1 test results are positive or equivocal. Western blood techniques are both specific and technically demanding, should be used to confirm diagnosis. Other studies may be used are as follows like joint aspiration to exclude other causes of effusion, CFS, CSF analysis in patients with meningitis, ECG to identify Lyme carditis. Microorganisms DNA detection by PCR has also been applied to blood, urine or CSF and biopsies of skin and synovium. At the end, management of the Lyme disease, asymptomatic patients with positive antibody tests should not be treated. However, erythema migraines always require therapy because organisms may persist and cause progressive disease even if the skin lesions resolve. Standard therapy consists of a 14-day course of doxycycline 200 mg daily or amoxicillin 500 mg 3 times daily. 
in pregnant women and small children or in those patients who are allergic to amoxicillin or doxycycline a 14 day treatment with cefuroxime exitel 500 mg twice daily or erythromycin 250 mg four times daily may be used disseminated disease and arthritis requires therapy for a minimum of 28 days neuroborreliosis is treated with parenteral beta lactam antibiotics for 3 to 4 weeks How can we prevent Lyme disease? Protective clothing and insect repellents should be used in tick infested areas. Prompt removal of ticks is advisable in first few hours of a blood feed as risk of borrelia transmission is lower in first few hours. A single dose of 200 mg doxycycline within 72 hours of exposure also prevents erythema migrans to develop.